Hi, welcome to how to factory reset your Fitbit. You will need a few things. First is actually uh, a charger, any wall charger will do, or your actually your actually a uh, power bank. And the second thing is actually your trusty Fitbit charging cable, and then of course last but not least will be your Fitbit. So first thing that you need to do is actually to plug the charging cable into your power source. In my case, it will be a power bank. Once this is done. What I will do next is I will actually plug this in to my Fitbit. So once it is plugged in, you will be able to see that it's charging. So what I will need to do next is actually to press the button for two seconds while it is charging. So one, two. Once this is done, remove the cable for and then wait for while pressing seven to nine seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once this is done, what I need to do is let go and then press it again. So, you see what it will have is, is that it will actually have an ALT and a white screen. So, what I will need to do is to let go and hold it down again. So, you see now there's a vibration, you can hear the, the thing. Then what I will need to do is, I will actually need to let go and hold it down again and you can see now I have an error so this is the error that I have then once I see this I will actually let it go and hold it down again and then you will actually have an erase so what I will do is I will let it go and the tracker will turn off so once my tracker is being turned off what I will need to do is I will actually need to press it on let's see It seems like I'm having some. Okay, so here there's a two method. You either press your button to actually turn it on, or you actually put the charging cable in to turn it on one more time. Let's see then. Let's see. All right, I'll be back and see what is happening. All right, so after one night, I think my Fitbit is back and it's charging. I think something hung and you just need to wait for it to, for the battery to run out. So this morning when I first uh, started charging it, it can charge already. And I think the reset has been successful because I think uh, I have actually started uh, the Fitbit quite some time and like 48 minutes in the morning before I record this video and then if you see there's no other data because uh, I before this I had set an alarm so what I need to do now is to have the Fitbit on already what I will need to do now is to see if I'm actually able to to actually set up another device let's see so it will actually say uh, set up or replace a device so here what it says is that what I will do is replace a device sort of yeah so so it says that there's actually already a Fitbit that is connect already uh, set up with my account do I want to actually set up a new one I would say yes replace my HR so it needs my Bluetooth, so it now it's getting on. Let's see. Goes a little bit on the white screen.
just move this a little bit away alright so privacy standard stuff we'll click next to go next then charging cable everything standard when you pretty set up then you get your Fitbit and then you press and hold for 3 seconds hmm. okay so as you can see my Fitbit is displaying a number so 09 sorry 090 shoot 0900 so it will be searching and then trying to connect alright so I think the rest is just like saying I like give my wrist a rest and how do you actually like wear the Fitbit? Because these are all standard issue. Then I think this is just normal standard. So yep, I guess that's all. And now my Fitbit is back. As you can see, the time is the same. So the the thing is already correct. So. Let's see my historical data, are they still there? Yep, my historical data are still here, so I think, I guess that's it, that's how it works. So, I hope this helps everyone. Thank you.